Welcome to the main Child Nutrition New Meal Pattern Educational Series. Throughout this presentation, we will discuss how to identify and credit grains in recipes. The first step of the process is to identify the grain ingredients within the recipe. The second step is to identify the number of servings that the recipe yields. Step three is to determine how each grain contributes to the grain component by converting the grain to grain ounce equivalents. The last step, step four, is to divide the total amount of grain by the number of servings. Let's take a look at an example using a recipe for macaroni and cheese. So here we can see that we have three different types of grains in one recipe. We must convert each one differently. We also identify that this recipe yields 50 2 3rd cup servings of macaroni and cheese. Before we take a look at the macaroni in the recipe, it is useful to know that the USDA provides a couple of methods for crediting pasta. One is based on the dry weight, and the other is determined by specific volumes of pasta in the food buying guide. If we use the food buying guide to credit the macaroni, we can see that every pound of dry weight macaroni provides us with 19.5 cooked half cup servings. We identify that the recipe calls for 2 pounds 10 ounces of macaroni we must convert the 10 ounces into a decimal in order to get an easier equation. We divide 10 ounces by 16, because there are 16 ounces in a pound, and get 0 0.625, which we add to the 2 pounds of macaroni. Next, we multiply the total pounds of macaroni by the number of servings per pound and find that the macaroni gives us a grain ounce equivalent of 51.18 for the whole recipe. Next, we move on to the flour in the recipe. The food buying guide tells us that for grains such as flour, we can multiply the total ounces of grain by 28.35 to get the number of grams. We then divide the number of grams by 16 because the USDA says that every 16 grams of grain equals a one ounce grain equivalent. In this case, the 12 ounces of flour multiplied by 28.35 to convert to ounces and then divided by 16 provides 21.26 grain ounce equivalents for the whole recipe. Now for the last grain ingredient, the breadcrumbs. We see that the recipe calls for six ounces of breadcrumbs. For the case of soft breadcrumbs, we decide to use group B in the grain chart. If it were dried breadcrumbs, you would look to group A in the grain chart. Group B tells us that one ounce equals one ounce grain equivalent. So in this case, six ounces of soft breadcrumbs equals six grain ounce equivalents for the whole recipe. The last step is to add up all of the grain ounce equivalents for the whole recipe and divide by 50 servings. Here, the macaroni plus the flour plus the breadcrumbs gives us a total of 79.06 ounces of grain. Divide that by 50 servings, and we get 1.58 grain ounce equivalents per serving. We round down to the nearest quarter of an ounce and find that this recipe provides 1.5 grain ounce equivalents per serving. Remember that there are different ways to credit pasta. If we had used the updated grain chart instead of the food buying guide, the grain chart states that one ounce of dry pasta equals one grain ounce equivalent. In that case, pasta would account for 42 grain ounce equivalents, and this recipe would change to 1.25 grain ounce equivalents per serving. As long as you document the method that you use for crediting and stay consistent, you can use either method. All of the necessary links to resources provided in this video are available in the video's description. 
please visit our website for more information on Maine Child Nutrition Programs.